Okay, tonight what we're going to work with is um, Department Manager um, VO, where we have, uh, we're assigning a department and we're assigning a manager to that department. Um, and what we have here is, is a combo, uh, the Spock combo, that shows all of the different departments and all of the different managers, but we don't know which manager is what. So what we'd really like to do is be able to choose finance and then show only the people that were assigned to finance. Choose uh, executive area and then choose only the people that would be assigned to the executive area. So I'm going to close that out and um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, the department manager VO and really what this was is uh, kind of a hack. I um, took the employees VO and uh, played with it. So here we have the um, department um, ID and here we have the manager ID. Over here we have the manager view object and um, what we do is is we actually create a view object, sorry, create a view criteria down here where we click on that and we say add item and uh, we say department ID equals bind variable and we press and we say department uh, BV I guess is good it is an integer one of the things you have to remember is is that um, in earlier versions of J developer it comes over as a number I believe so um, if you upgrade that can cause some headaches okay so now what we have is the manager criteria created here and then the depth BV right here so I'm going to save that, and then we're going to go over to the manager view object again. I'm sorry, the department manager view object. I am going to edit this. No, I'm not going to edit this. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to edit this. And you'll have to excuse me, I lost my mind for a minute there. Um, and what we do is we come over here. And this is where I got lost. Um, it's hard to remember that you have to go to the list data source. So we choose the manager. And then over here, now we have the manager criteria. And we shuttle that over so that it's over here selected. And there you can see that the what we're going to do is we're going to assign the value for this. And this is hard to see. You don't see that there's anything here. But if you click on it, there'll actually be, and, and here you can actually get an expression builder, but it's easier just to grab it. You would actually grab the department ID. So what this is going to do is say, show me all of the managers that have the department ID. I'm actually, it may actually show all the employees. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to show. But um, the point is, is what, what we want is a um, list box that is dependent on the manager. So we've got that saved. And let's just go in and check it again, manager, edit. And we've got the department ID there. So. Um, it's uh, almost 12 p.m., so I'm a little bit slap happy here. If I don't explain myself well. So we're going to run that. And I haven't debugged this completely. So it could actually show the uh, employees or it could show the managers for the um, department. We'll find out in a second here. So we go over here and um, we get the field and we choose finance and we get this person. We choose executive and we get these three people. Um, if we choose IT support, there's nobody there. Maybe there's no manager. I'm, I'm going to have to look into that exactly. There seems to be some records here where there's no manager at all. So um, it might be that there's only one person, but I really haven't debugged this completely. And that is how to build a dependent uh, this box. Of course, you want to assure that the right data is showing, which it may or not be. I am not determining that at this point because it's 12 p.m. Oh no, 12 a.m. at midnight. And um, that is the last video I think I'm going to do tonight. Have a great evening. I hope this was helpful. I know taking an existing object and hacking it doesn't quite help. But the main point to remember is, is you create a list box. Uh, let me go over to the department ID. You create a list box for uh, the view object, I should say. You create a list box, and then you create this list box. And as you're doing it, 
this is where you do the edit okay that is where you take the view criteria shuttle it over and assign it to the other one all right have a great evening and i'll see you tomorrow